Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 3rd of 2023 well, it is titled Kemble's Cascade of Stars. So what do we see here? Well, this is a grouping of stars known as an asterism. An asterism is a group of stars, but is not a constellation. Now, one of the most famous ones of these would be the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper is not a constellation, but is actually just a portion of the constellation known as Ursa Major or the Great Bear. So here we see a grouping of stars almost in a line. So uh, very difficult to see a little bit too faint to see with the naked eye. But you can see going from the upper left down to the lower right, almost a line of stars of very similar brightness that appear in the sky. So this is what is known as a cast again, a cascade of stars, in this case, Kemble's cascade. And again, it's not a part of a it is part of a constellation. In fact, a part of the constellation of Camelopardalis, which is the giraffe. Now the stars themselves are not related to each other and just by chance happen to be located roughly along the same line in the sky. So just a chance superposition of stars that we get to see here. Uh, and as we look at them, we can note that there are differences between the stars. While the brightnesses are similar, the colors are very definitely different. And we see some that are very distinct blue color, which means they're much hotter stars, and others that are a red color, which means that they are cooler stars. The hotter a star is, the shorter the wavelength it will provide primarily give off. So a very hot star will give off short wavelengths like the blue and violet colors, whereas a much cooler star will give off the longer red wavelengths. So the reds and the oranges are a sign of a much cooler star. So just by looking at an image like this, we can get a rough idea of what the temperature of each star is. And uh, then if you wanted to determine those temperatures and actually get a measurement, more detailed measurements would have to be made of the specific spectrum of the star. But essentially, the redder a star looks, the cooler it is going to be. And the hotter a star looks, the bluer it is going to appear. So that was our picture of the day for January 3rd of 2023. It was titled Kemble's Cascade of Stars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Big Appetite. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.